Hello fellow Amiga users, I'm Bill. I'm Anthony. And we are the Guru Meditation. And we are here at the Radio and TV Museum at InfoH Science Center in Wall, New Jersey for Vintage Computer Festival East 2019. Come with us when we join Team Atari at VCF East. Wait a minute. Atari? That's right, Anthony. We are joining Team Atari at VCF East this year, but I've got a really good reason for it. And you better. Well, Jay Miner, who's father of the Amiga, is also father of the Atari 2600 VCS and the Atari 400-800 8-bit computer line, which is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. So there is a huge tribute to the Atari line, and we are doing the Jay Miner portion of the tribute. I'd rather carry these than an Atari any day. Yeah. The invasion of the Atari exhibit by the Amiga. The best Atari machine has arrived. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> I spy a 1084. Attack! It's green. We're not done yet, though. We're not done yet. J Minor, father of the Amiga. Who's that guy with hair? Canon XL1. Amiga! <laughs> Welcome to the J Minor photo booth. This was a wild and crazy idea I had to make our exhibit a little bit more interactive. Folks can come up and get their photo taken with the father of the Amiga, Mr. J Minor himself. Now, you may notice there is another character in this picture over on the left, and that is 15-year-old Amiga Bill. That's right, this photo was taken by my father at Ami Expo 1990, and obviously it was one of the best days of my life. I get to meet the man himself, and he spent like 20 minutes with me just talking about Amiga, talking about the user group that I ran, the Westchester Amiga user group, and it was super generous of him to give me his time, and he was one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna show you guys exactly like what I'm doing with this photo booth. So instead of people coming over and just taking the photo with like a regular cell phone, I decided I want to take the picture with an actual Amiga. Now if you've seen our latest video, it's all about DCTV. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you go check it out. So I'm not going to go into detail about DCTV here, but I just want to tell you that I'm using DCTV to capture people's images and then I will convert it to Amiga ham mode. DCTV is a 24-bit capture device that works with all Amigas and it uses some trickery in the NTSC video signal. But that's all explained in our video. But for now, I am going to capture my main man, Thierry Mazzolini from AmigaVideo.net. So what I do is I have people put their head in the hole. They look into this Canon XL1 video camera and they have to freeze for about seven seconds. So I give them a little countdown. All right, Thierry, you ready? I'm going to count them down. Three, two, one, freeze. And now the DCTV is doing the scan. It's going to take about seven seconds. And now it's previewing the display, and there it is. We've captured it successfully. <laughs> this is a 24-bit DCTV image. Uh, you can see it's very photorealistic. And now I go into the uh, convert feature of this program, and I convert it to the classic 4096 color Amiga ham mode. And then I email it to everyone who gets their picture taken in the booth. Here we have the Amiga 1000, the machine released in 1985 that started it all. We have one open here so people can see what makes this so special. They can see those custom chips, but they can also see the signatures of the developers molded into the underside of the cover. And we have here a running system showing what is the quintessential demo of the 1000. Every Amiga person knows this. If you love the 1000, you certainly know this demo. This was what was shown at CES before the machine was even ready to be sold to get up interest in developers and investors. All right, Bill, so what do we have here? So here we have an Amiga 1000, and here I have a classic game called Sidewinder. Not only was the Amiga great for graphics and video, but obviously it was an awesome games machine. 
and we are demoing a special joystick from our friends at the Vintage Computer Society of Athens. This is a prototype joystick that I'm beta testing for them, and this joystick is awesome. It uses all arcade quality parts, and it's, the thing is solid, man. It's uh, heavy as a brick. And it's just, it's so cool to see that people today in 2019 are still supporting the Amiga and still making new things for the Amiga. You got people making peripherals like this joystick, people making new accelerators, people making new games for the Amiga. The Amiga community is absolutely thriving in 2019. And little known fact, Sidewinder was my favorite game when I got my first Amiga 500. Awesome. Anthony, you gave me a lot of crap about joining an Atari exhibit, but you're the one who brought the Atari. What's going on here? Hey, well, you know I had to bring something extra special. This is an Atari 800XL teleprompter. J. Miner's great legacy is that his systems revolutionized video in so many ways. We all know about the video toaster with the Amiga, but his 8-bit systems revolutionized teleprompting when ProPrompt in 1982 came out with this system. This is a teleprompter, and it is the first computerized portable teleprompting system and in fact they won an Emmy for it. This company is still in business doing prompting today. I'm here with somebody who in the retro scene probably needs no introduction, Kurt Vendel. This year is the 40th anniversary of the Atari 400-800 computer systems. I brought out every product that Atari made for that line. So I'm going to show you really, really interesting things that probably most people have never seen.